a little big beautiful world called planet Earth. So in the past 24 hours, a lot has happened and a lot's going to happen in the next 12-ish, no, 5-ish hours, 5 to 9-ish hours from now. So here's what happened. So yesterday, the Super Nintendo World and Universal Studios or went, or not went to Hollywood in, here in California opened its doors. And I saw a lot of different, um, whether it was Instagram stories or clips on YouTube, that everyone was excited for the opening of it today. And I saw a lot of individuals that actually went to it. Because I am following Universal Studios um, Hollywood on Instagram. And they put they've been posting a lot of it a lot to or yesterday, um, and it just it just seems cool, and I'm ready to experience it. I'm actually I'm thinking we're gonna I'm gonna go experience it in June, and because by that I know it'll be summertime, and a lot of people will want to go on that ride. But everyone that went yesterday probably are gonna say great things about it, and that's amazing. Have them say great things about it because. That just gets me more hyped up, more excited about actually going on the ride and going to that section in the lower lot of Universal Studios. It's right It's right next to, I, I've said this before, it's right next to the Transformers ride in the lower lot. And you've got, um, and you've got the, uh, you got the Jurassic World down there as well. And then you, the, that ride. And then there's, I think there's one other ride that's down there that I may or may not be forgetting about. Um, but yeah, so it's down there in the lower lot. There's only like a few rides in the lower lot. And there's just so much more that's down there too that they added to it. Like there's um, there's an eatery place that's down there. They have, they have this wristband that I noticed that allows you to go near the... Um, the what are the, the boxes where they have the coins and stuff and you can put your wristband onto it and it'll it'll tell it'll make it sound because you're putting your wrist up to that uh, coin box or that mystery box that um, they have in as uh, in Mario 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 Brothers um, uh, Super Mario Brothers video game and I'm getting I'm getting way too into this so um, and also yesterday was the uh, the very first day of the All Star break. They had the celebrity um, basketball game. They had the Rising Stars game, and I think there's going to be a few things today. Like they're going to have the three point contest, the slam dunk contest, and maybe something else. I could be wrong. They could have all done that yesterday. And was there something else? Oh yeah, I went and saw uh, Ant Man. Uh, and the Wasp Quantumanium yesterday, very good film. I highly recommend it if you're a um, if you're a Marvel fan and you like Ant Man and or the Wasp or you know anything of that nature. And then also, so let's talk about what's happening today. I'm I know I'm going on like twenty different uh, uh, topics today. The the Elimination Chamber uh, pay per view is tonight. From 5 p.m. until until 9 p.m. or 8:30 or something along those lines, the kickoff show starts at four, and then the actual show starts at five. So I'm going to be watching that tonight, and hopefully some good outcomes happen. Um, let let me just tell you who I think will win. Doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to win. I'm hoping Sami Zayn wins in front of his home crowd of Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Um, because that's where the pay-per-view is tonight. I'm hoping that Beth Phoenix and, and Edge win tonight. I'm hoping that, you know, either Seth Rollins or someone else becomes the United States champion. I hope Brock Lesnar beats Bobby Lashley tonight. Um, I hope that Liv Morgan wins the, uh, Women's Elimination Chamber match this year. She's uh, she's amazing, but I wouldn't put it past Raquel Rodriguez to win either. Um, is there any other? I don't think there's any other matches that I'm really looking forward to, other than the ones I just mentioned. There might be other ones on the card. They're like they said that there might be a Damage Control versus uh, Becky Lynch 
Lita and and uh, Trish Stratus, but I don't think that one that match is actually going to happen. It could. They could announce it during. Uh, they could announce it last night at the um, at SmackDown or or something else. Uh, or they could announce it today before the actual pay per view. I'm not really sure. So that's everything that's happened over the past 24 hours, and that's what's happening in the next five to nine hours. And then the All Star Game is tomorrow night for the NBA. That's what I was referring to earlier when I said the celebrity basketball game and the um, and the other and the you know the the three point contest and the uh, slam dunk contest. So, with that being said. Uh, that's it for today's vlog. I have one birthday to wish today, and I would like to wish Pearson uh, Wodnowski. Uh, it's W O D. Let me spell it out here for you se for a second. Um, Z Y N S K I E S K I. Um, that is the only birthday we have today. There are five birthdays tomorrow. No, there's six birthdays tomorrow. Four on on um, on Instagram. And two on YouTube, so come back for that uh, for that tomorrow. I do want to apologize because I did not do my proper outro yesterday, so I'm gonna I'm gonna say it today, and I'm gonna try to do it every single day. So I am sorry that I didn't say stay happy, stay upbeat, uh, be you, who you want to be, uh, and do what you want to do. Find your love story and. Um, I'm really looking forward to uh, the two things I mentioned, really, which is this Super Nintendo World that they that they opened yesterday. I'll be going to that in June, and the Elimination Chamber ma matches tonight. I'm really looking forward to that. So, and that's on Peacock, by the way. And I will see you tomorrow with a brand new vlog. And bye bye.